Hi, and welcome to Providian Medical's training on the GE Vivid IQ ultrasound machine. The first time you start up your system, it may come to this screen. It's an installation wizard, and really all it wants is some information about you to set up the system appropriately so you don't have to go digging through some menus to find all those things. Uh, you, know, you can choose your language. Uh, the next, it's going to ask you to put in your name, get the date set correctly, type of units uh, like metric or U.S., um, what kind of internet connection you'll have. If you have a wireless dongle, this is where you would enter that uh, and then enable DHCP. If you aren't going to connect it to a network, you don't have to worry about that. Um, but this is the way place where you first get this started. I'm going to use touch screen and click next here. Again, uh, more information. If you don't know what this is, don't worry about it. Um, it is very specific information. And uh, if, if you don't know, somebody would tell you what you needed to know here uh, if you need it. And then just a summary of what you've put in. If you want to export it to USB, go ahead. Uh, and then you're just going to click exit. And now you have your scanning screen. Another thing you might face uh, on boot up is it might ask you for an operator login. We can change uh, where that is, but in order to log this in as administrator, the ULS ADM is the default password, which again, you can change and we'll get to that in a, a later movie, uh, but that's what you're going to do. It's all lowercase ULS ADM and log on and you're ready to go. So um, that took me to the setup screen. Let me get out of that. Get back to scan. And now you have your regular scanning screen and you know technically you're ready to go. So let's do a quick tour of how this system works. If you haven't used a touch screen ultrasound before, it does work just like a tablet. Uh, you'll notice there's no keyboard and I'll show you how to get to that keyboard in just a moment. But let's just go around the entire screen. You have uh, your facility name, which you entered earlier in that installation wizard. Uh, date and time, the probe that's connected, ADM for administrator. You've got some information here, like there's no Wi-Fi, there's a GE support, and it's showing that it's plugged in. And again, date and time, uh, that's the current, that's when the exam started. You can tap up here, and there's a whole nother set here. It's telling me the status of the battery. Um, I can change the LCD backlight here. Uh, test image, clean mode that'll lock it so you can clean everything. Uh, don't worry about these logs. That would be more for um, if there's an issue with the system. Uh, Insight is uh, the GE connection for support. Network status and this installation wizard takes us back to that original. So if this screen, this installation wizard didn't pop up, you can just click up here and choose your installation wizard. Network status, uh, in case when you get to the point where you are connecting to a DICOM server or something, this will tell you if you are connected to the network or not. Next, we have all the information here regarding the scanning. Uh, FPS is frames per second, your frequency, acoustic power, gain, dynamic range, etc., etc. And you can change these things um, you know, through the various controls. Now, since it's touch screen driven, you'll notice, you know, there's a little dot down here and there's a little line up here. There's two lines. One's white, one's dark. This means you can scroll it. So this, there's two lines. So it means there's two pages to scroll to. We can't scroll up. So you can scroll down and up and you can tap these. One, two, three, four. One, two, four is for multi-screen. Side by side, there's dual and then there's a quad. And you just keep tapping it left, right to flip it back and forth. And we'll get to that in the scanning mode. And the same thing applies down here. You can scroll across, you know, there's two dots here so I can go back and forth. And then up here we have more touch screen controls. This is the gain for 2D. And you can see that I can increase or decrease the gain. And same thing with zoom. And we'll get into those things uh, more when we do more scanning. You can use the rest of the screen here. You can adjust your depth by swiping up and down. You can zoom by pinching. And then you have your zoom box over here where you can actually slide that around, get your region of interest. Zoom in, zoom out. So you can use all these gestures to get around the screen. And uh, over here, you'll have some saved images, but you've got all your... Uh, Image optimization, there's a few pages here. Um, 
and all that. And then there's another uh, set of menus down here where you just click the plus icon and you have a whole series of things that you can change. And you can move these around, say, if you want uh, the keyboard to show. You'll notice if I close this, there's four showing for easy access. And I can change that. Press the plus. You click on it, hold, and you can drag it around and it'll swap spots with whatever was there. So you can drag it around and you have Physio, Scan Assistant, uh, your Diacom spooler, which you'll use yeah, if you ever, if you are going to scan, uh, send things to the Diacom server, body marker, uh, your online help, which really isn't very helpful. You have to scroll through it, but I'll show you something really quick on how to get through that help. Uh, it's going to boot here and it just gives you this page and you have to kind of scroll through page by page just to get to a table of contents where you can get to a hyperlink and click somewhere. Well, if you just tap down here, you'll see some uh, various things. You can page up and page down right there. It's not that helpful, but you can click on that little A. Um, there's a search feature, but if you can figure out how to get to the keyboard when this happens, good for you, because <laughs> I could not figure it out. It, you can't really keyword search, but what you can do is there's a little bookmark icon right there, and you can scroll through here and go to what it is you're looking for um, and jump right to it. It's kind of a little easier than the table of contents. And then to close it, just click in that X up there, and you're back to scanning. The rest are, are pretty much uh, self-explanatory, but you can also click on this big image, which goes to a larger full screen. It drops that gain bar. I get out of the zoom and I'll get my depth controls back. So if you do go to full screen, big image, you'll be still be able to adjust the depth, but the gain you would need to go back, go back to smaller image, but the zoom and all that you can use to pinch. Um, we'll get to the probe and those things, all the review and later things, but here's where all your other stuff is uh, that, that's hidden. And, um, this config takes you to the system setup, which we will get to later. But if you're setting up your system and you want some other information, yeah, you can go ahead and adjust that here. And moving down to the console part with the hard keys, uh, you know, you have your imaging modes, CW Doppler, tissue velocity, pulse wave color, M mode, and just general 2D. This cursor will bring up that Doppler line. So you can hit that before you go into pulse wave Doppler or CW Doppler, you'll get your line to go into that. I'll turn that off. Flex is a programmable key, and when we get to the system setup video, uh, it'll show you the options you have to pre-program that key. Trackpad gives you an arrow, or you use the trackball, whichever you'd like, so when you need to point to something or select something, you can go ahead and do that. So see, I can use that arrow to select various items. So uh, as if you don't want to use the touch screen and get it all dirty, set key is your standard enter key uh, to set uh, measurements or annotations or something like that. Update and menu. You could pull up a menu here. The update uh, part will work in, in the Doppler modes and some other modes, but this is just a menu. So you can go ahead. If you want to export to a USB in like a JPEG format, you would have to use this menu here. Store, stores the image to a clipboard and stores it to the patient file. And uh, that also works as your Cine store. Clear, uh, pretty straightforward. Annotations or measurements, clear it from the screen. You have another flex key, measure for when you want to take a measurement. Freeze. Uh, 4D and multi-D, that's uh, for the 4D TEE, so uh, most people would not be using that. And this pause bu button has is a multi-function as well. You'll use it in you know, things like scan assist or a um, stress echo. Uh, there's multiple things where you'll see uh, how, how to use that pause key. So next we'll get into 2D imaging and start using the machine.